it's not looking good for Meghan Markle whatsoever. Things are getting much, much worse. As we are seeing, days are approaching for her to be in the UK for a few days. Now, let's talk about this particular news because I find this to be very, very interesting. Before we move on and share that news with you guys, just to remind you, most of my viewers are not subscribed. If you're one of them, consider subscribing. Let's take a look at this report and then I'll talk to you guys more about this. So basically, this is what is coming amidst um, reconciliation. Kate Middleton, Catherine, Princess of Wales, sparks controversy with new insane message to Meghan Markle. So what is the news? Actually, you will not be able to see the news until you come down all the way here to the article. Calling it, quote, a horrible situation all around, end quote. An insider told OK Magazine that Catherine, quote, has drawn a hard line in the sand. She is not changing her mind about them, end quote. Her last moment of grace reportedly eroded after Meghan revealed their bridesmaid dress argument during the sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey in March of 21. But she and Prince William don't necessarily agree about the situation. Quote, William wants to extend an olive branch to Hattie. And quote, the insider continued. Quote, it's a shocking about face, <laughs> but he feels it's long overdue. End quote. What I want to tell you guys, Every report that is suggesting that, you know what, William is try somehow trying to reach out to Harry or that he is interested in kind some kind of reconciliation with his brother is absolutely false. It's absolutely bogus. In fact, it is quite the opposite. He is going to stop Harry from making any approach to him for a reconciliation, whatever that means for Harry and Meghan. William is not that kind of a guy. He's not going to be soft towards his brother. So again, if you hear any news that, yeah, William is soft, mm -hmm, no, he's not soft at all. He made it absolutely clear when they gave this interview back in 2021 and accused the British monarchy, they're racist, this and that. And William came out and said to the public media, he was the only person to do so in the public to the media to say, we are very much not a racist family. The Princess of Wales is adamant right now that, quote, Harry and especially Meghan have done enough damage to the royal family, end quote, and she believes that they, quote, will do even more damage if they are let back in, end quote. I have heard and I have seen hundreds of comments. People are screaming, literally <laughs> saying that, Megan should not come back to the monarchy, to the palace. Harry should not go and reconcile. Prince William should not do that. King Charles should not do that. They, because these two duplicitous duos cannot be trusted anymore. I don't think that any sane-minded person would ever believe that Harry can change or that they are up to something good to benefit the monarchy. Remember, I mentioned in my other report, Harry is now wanting to live close to the Kensington Palace, one of those apartments. And the reason for that, according to an insider news, is because Harry believes by living in Kensington Palace and in around that area, he would be able to help out the monarchy. One royal expert, I believe it was Angela Levine, she commented and she said, no, Harry, we do not need, the monarchy doesn't need your help don't come close to us. It probably did not help that Harry went even further with Meghan and, K and Catherine's row over Princess Charlotte's dress in his best-selling memoir, Spare. It only deepened the rift between the couples. Quote, when William told Catherine he wants to bury <laughs> the hatchet with Harry, she was incensed. And she and William got into a big fight. She will never forgive Meghan for what she did and quote they added i mean for maybe for william maybe in the future there will come a time when they will reconcile maybe especially if you know and when uh, the king will pass away <laughs> not if when that might be a situation that could trigger that emotion that good you know soft part of william's heart and say, you know what, brother, let's get back. Let's, you know, come back to the family fold. Enough is enough. That can be possible. Can be possible. I'm not saying that will happen for sure. 
possible. But for Catherine to be friend with Megan after what she did, all the bullying and all that, to her own daughter, Princess Charlotte, I don't believe that we, uh, Catherine will ever embrace M Megan back. And to be honest with you, like Megan is not normal. Okay, let's forget about what happened with P Princess Charlotte and forget about everything else. She is not. She just, she just can't fit into the family. It is impossible for Megan to fit into the family because she is weird, strange, cringy. Perhaps time away. Each other is exactly when the fabulous foursome needs because, quote, the damage, the wounds are so deep, end quote. According to Royal Editor Sarah Hewson, she told Sky News Australia, and uh, sorry, quote, it's gonna take an awful lot and an awful long time to heal those wounds, end quote. She said, while nothing, she's, uh, she said, while noting that neither side seems to want to forgive and forget for now the best solution might be the silent treatment from both parties i mean right now who is talking every time we see the monarchy is doing something who is actually trying to compete with the monarchy it is not the monarchy it is not william catherine it is her this same this same person she is always coming out she is sending her mother to different concerts. She is pushing the whole family. She is coming out with the kids, you know, the surrogate children in public, uh, July 4th, if you remember. She is the one who is desperate, doing so many things, so much in order to make a name for herself. But is she able to do that? I don't think so. She's actually failing miserably. So, Catherine, she does have a message to Meghan Markle that uh, you do not ever think of coming to the monarchy coming back to the palace because the doors are shut and catherine to be honest with you she is such a strong lady she has seen it all through especially the during the queen's funeral if you remember the walkabout they did she felt that vibe that bad bad vibe coming from Meghan markle she was not comfortable at all she went out for that walk about reluctantly she didn't want she didn't want to do that so what do we understand from that body language from catherine yes <laughs> case closed megan will have never a chance to come back to the monarchy and they um, she learned the lesson at least as the future queen of england she cannot be foolish she cannot be uh, you know duped by somebody like megan markle because it is not befitting for the future queen, queen of England. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.